What's up, Paul? My name is Glassfoot, and today I want to talk about a manga I just recently picked up and read. Batman and the Justice League. Now, I found out about this manga because I was hanging out with my friend, and while we were hanging out, uh, we were going to get dinner and then, because take out, because... COVID, we ended up having to wait about 20-ish minutes before we could grab it. To kill time while we waited, we went to Books A Million. While I was there, we trolled around the manga section because we're nerds. But while I was there, I found that manga. And I was very intrigued, so I got it. And I read it. And it's really good. I'm pretty sure that it's officially licensed by DC since it has DC's logo on it. But it's honestly hard for me to tell, though I'm pretty sure you would get in trouble for using the characters if it wasn't licensed by DC. Anyway, uh, it seems to be an official comic, or an official manga, set within some version of the DC Universe. Uh, this version of the DC Universe seems to be heavily inspired by Japanese folklore and other things like that. Uh, the main character of the book of the series is Rui, a child from Japan whose parents died in an accident about a year ago. Everyone says they're dead, he doesn't believe it, and he just really wants proof that they are or not, so he's come to Gotham to try and figure out, you know, if his parents are still alive. Uh, when he first gets to Gotham, he gets a typical Gotham greeting because corrupt cops try to fuck with him. He actually displays some really, really impressive uh, self-defense and fighting capabilities in that moment but he refuses to hurt them because he doesn't believe that violence is ever the answer. Batman does his usual beatdown, and then the book continues from there, with it follows Batman for a while, and then it follows uh, Rui for a chapter. Now, I know I don't have the full context of this book, and I cannot atone to how the series ends. I fully plan on reading it the rest of the way through, getting the rest of them, but for now, I can only speak on Volume 1. <laughs> volume 1 is Awesome. I, I'm a massive fan of DC Comics. When it comes to superheroes and whatnot, I believe the MCU and Marvel does a great job with the films, and the comics are hit and miss. DC, their movies might not be the best, and their shows may kind of go downhill a little bit, though that's probably more CW thing. Looking at you, fucking Arrowverse. Sorry, Arrowverse is a thing I'll get into in another episode. But DC's comics have always, always to me, been one of the best comic reads of all time. You can't see it on the shelf, but on my shelf here, I've got Watchmen, Injustice, Hellblazer, the first three volumes of Sandman, Red Hood and the Outlaws, five volumes from Suicide Squad, four volumes from Teen Titans, Robin, Days of Fire and Madness. This is one of the best books I have read. This one's a completely self-contained story too. Awesome. The first three Fables comics. A Marvel Spider-Man Encyclopedia, IDW's, Ninja Turtles, Usagi Yojimbo, a Sonic the Hedgehog comic I got when I was like eight or nine. I was really into Sonic when I was a little kid. And Joker, another amazing book that follows a criminal as he gets out of prison and joins Joker's gang. As you can tell, I love DC Comics. And so to have a manga, which is another personal favorite art form of mine, as referenced by this bookshelf full of manga and this bookshelf full of manga and then an entire bookcase right there but this <laughs> is beside the point but i've always enjoyed reading manga i got into it when i was in about fifth grade uh with getting shonen jump i got monthly jump from fifth grade till it ended like at least four years because i think it ended either as i was going into high school or in the middle of high school it either ended as i was going in or like in my freshman year. But anyway, I got Jump for the longest time. I've bought multiple manga because I love them. Damn it, this setup screen is confusing. But to have a manga that is officially a DC Universe property is really cool to me. Seeing Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman and Flash and all of them drawn as friggin' manga characters is really cool. I find it greatly entertaining to read it, and I will be continuing the series. I, I will have to say, if you're a fan of DC but not of manga, you may or may not enjoy this. If you're a fan of manga and not of DC, you're, again, probably not going to. I just happen to be the perfect mix between the two to love the hell out of something like this. 
Rui is an amazing protagonist. I'm really interested to see where his story goes from here, how he interacts with Batman and Superman and the rest of the Justice League, because, you know, it's called Batman and the Justice League. I'm pretty sure the plot's going to involve them somehow. Also, in quick backstory, if you are a fan of DC, you already know that this event happened, so no, it is not a spoiler, though it is kind of a spoiler. Spoiler warning for the second Robin, though if you're a current DC fan, you already know what happened to Jason. Uh, this manga takes place after the events of Death in the Family, though I don't think it directly references Death in the Family. It references Jason's death. There is a specific moment when Batman is fighting Joker that he brings this up to try and get Batman to break his no-kill rule. But the way that it was set up doesn't feel like it was truly the death in the family arc from the original comics. And so I don't know where it's going with that. Um, I'm very interested to see if that actually at all plays a role outside of Batman has a clear intention of wanting to stop the Joker to prevent, you know, Joker from Jokering more than he does already. Um, I, do, I, I am interested to see how this, how their take on how this affects Batman. Uh, it is stated that after Jason's death, Batman has started getting sloppier and sloppier with how he fights, much like in the original comics when after Jason died, Batman started becoming more and more violent because he just didn't give a crap anymore and didn't want what happened to Jason to happen to any more kids. Batman became extremely reluctant to take on another Robin because he didn't want another random child to die. And so I'm actually very interested to see where they go with this version of that. If Batman will willingly accept Rui's help if he needs it, and if Rui will willingly become a version of Robin to help stop Joker from fucking up the world. And I'm assuming he wants to fuck up the world. Luther also appears in this book and that kind of becomes his directly stated goal. To be fair, that's kind of always Joker and Luther's goal is fuck something up. So that's not really a surprise to me. Yeah, I don't have a ton to say about this. This kind of video came on a whim because I was like, if this is an interesting series, I'm gonna do a video on it. But yeah, uh, for now, the first volume I think is really good. It's a lot of fun. It's incredibly entertaining if you're a Batman or just a DC fan in general. And you also happen to like the manga art style, which I feel like there is some crossover between those types of nerds. But for me, I am the perfect mix of the two. So I enjoyed the hell out of this book and I will be picking up the rest. I will probably do a full series review once I have finished reading every book in the series. I don't know how long it is, so if it's like 30 volumes, which god I hope not, uh, <laughs> it may be a while before I decide to do a video on that. But anyway, I would say check this series out if you're a fan of DC or manga in general. And wow, th sorry, this video got a little bit more rambly than it probably needed to. I just had a ton of thoughts. I flipped on the camera and just recorded this one. I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. If you did and would like to continue seeing more content from me, hit the subscribe button down below as always. If you'd like to follow me on either Twitter or Instagram, links as always will be in the description box down below. I don't know what videos I want to link at the end of this, but anyway, uh, hey guys, have a fantastic day. And as always, peace out!